Open Heavens International Center. I believe that what you see and hear here will rouse your faith and your life will never remain the same. Challenge God you seeing what you see here as a point of contact to your miracle. God blessed me with the gift of a house. October 21, 2021, my son praised Osho Bugye Ojo Nugwa Abba came. Suddenly am I happily married. I have a Christian home. I have an amazing wife. I have a beautiful daughter. We both passed our exams. I and Dr. Denada as a name. We both came together for the prayer. And to the glory of God, we are both now consultant and aesthetics. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We have been waiting on the for over 24 years. God blessed us with these wonderful children of God. They are twins, Ife Oluani and Anoluako, to the glory of God. We came here to pray in 2018 for marital breakthrough. I want to thank God that God gave us marital breakthrough. I got married this last Saturday. We have been believing God for the set of twins, a boy and a girl. So we visited this open, our open heaven house last year, February. And we told God that if God should answer our prayer, this year, February, we will bring the children back. And today we are here with God and Diamond Robinson. God, I am here for the first time. If actually all these testimonies I am hearing, they are, they, are, they are nothing but the truth. As I have come here today, I want to visit me. And I told God, I said, God, I'm almost 48 years old. Give me husband. But lo and behold, last year, the Lord, uh, in, uh, in year 2019, the Lord visited me and he gave me a man. After God's heart, I blessed the name of the Lord. And last year, 2020, I got married. Welcome to Springs of Life on Dove Television. I am Lillian Ogedebe, and thank you so very much for tuning in and joining us for the time you're going to spend on television at this time. And I pray that um, the one hour or the time we're going to spend together on TV now will be refreshing to us all in the name of Jesus. And that's for you watching right now. And for those who will watch later, probably on Facebook, on YouTube, I pray you get the same kind of vibe, the same kind of feeling and blessing in the name of Jesus. Springs of Life, just in case you're joining us now um, for the very first time, it is a program where we discuss the Word of God, where we discuss topics that can help us know the mind of God over issues and also questions will be answered, okay? So um, much later in the course of the program, our phone line will be opened. You can ask your question. It might not be on the topic we are discussing today. It might be on something else that has been bothering your mind over time. This is another time um, on TV to ask a pastor that question. And I pray and hope that you get an answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome once again to Springs of Life. And today we have an interesting topic to discuss. And we, are also, we also have a person in the house who will help us um, understand the topic that we have today through the help of the Holy Spirit. He is one of our pastors in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Um, he's from Winners Chapel in Lagos Province 13 of RCCG. Please join me and welcome Pastor Isaac Adewunle. Hello, sir. You're welcome to Springs of Life. God bless you. Good morning, ma. How are you, ma? Very well. Thank you. How are you doing, sir? Glory be to God. Ministry, kingdom work, expansion, God, and all of that. God is our strength. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, sir, for joining Amen. us once again. Thank you, ma. So today on Springs of Life, we have an interesting topic to discuss. And um, you can also watch this Apart from watching on your cable station, you can watch on various platforms. It's streaming live now on Facebook and YouTube. You can also watch on your mobile device by downloading the 
OH Prime TV on your mobile phone, okay? Just visit your Google Play Store, your Apple Play Store, and search for OH Prime TV. Then you can watch um, varieties of Dove TV. You can watch Dove Africa, Dove Europe, Dove Asia, Dove Entertainment, and there is so much more, okay? So just download the OH Prime on your, t on your phone, and you can watch varieties of interesting and inspiring programs. Thank you once again. Having said that, would like to invite the presence of God as we take short words of prayer from our pastor, sir. Shall we pray? Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I want to say thank you, Jesus. You are the God of word by yourself. Thank you because you brought us here so that we can hear from you. Father, you are the one that matters in this discussion this morning. Therefore, Father, have your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, to all of us, both we that were here and people that will be listening to you over there, Lord, speak directly to our heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Convince us of your word and make us a better person by your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 And so today, we have an interesting topic, like I said earlier, and that is manifestation of his power manifestation of his power at this point i want to ask you if you have your bible please get it handy so we can study together get something to write on okay you might just put down a point or something that will be useful to you like um, for instance i i read a passage in the bible yesterday yes yesterday just while i was having my quiet time i've not really found time to digest it but that's in the book of revelations chapter 7 verse 12 and it says amen amen blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. So today we are talking about manifestation of his power, manifestation of his power. Now there seems to be so much to learn and find out today about the power. You know, when we have a topic as HIS, his, it means we are referring to God in heaven, God Almighty. Manifestation of his power, sir. So you're a pastor and you've been, you've been in kingdom expansion work for I'm some a, time. I'm, I'm a child of God. <laughs> okay, we are, you're a child of God. Tell us from your experience, sir, okay. what does it mean? What, what does the manifestation of God's power is like? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now what we are talking of manifestation of his power, okay? We are talking of manifestation of God's power. Well, let's quickly start from the word manifestation. Quickly, what does the word manifestation mean? Number one, manifestation means to show forth. Okay? And we can find that in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Bible says we are called to show forth. Okay? What's that is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Say you are a choosing generation, you are peculiar people, you are real priests. Now, he calls us to show forth. Okay? Now, that is manifestation. What is manifestation again? Manifestation means to demonstrate. And that was why when Paul was speaking in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4, okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4, he says, my preaching, he says, my message, my word, my speech, is not of the wisdom of man. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. Yeah. It's not of wisdom, but it's of the spirit and of power. Okay? It's of the spirit and of power. power. So when I'm talking of manifestation, I'm talking of showing forth, we are talking of demonstrating. Okay, so what are we now seeing? I'm talking of showing forth the power of God, demonstrating the power of God in which area? In every aspect of our life. So when we are talking of manifestation of his power, we are talking of how do we, mani how do we demonstrate, how do we show forth his power that resides in us? Because as I said earlier on, you know, before we came in to down here, that the power of God is universal. You can't deny it. Even if we say there is no God, the, what is there? The, the, the nature, the, the creation, nature, everything, everything proof that yes, there is proof. God. So nobody can doubt that. If there is somebody, somebody is somewhere and say, oh, there is no God, it's because that person has given himself to reprobate mind. Okay? Because they've given them to reprobate mind. Like that is why the Bible says, God give them to reprobate mind because they refuse God. Okay? It's not because there is no God, but they refuse that God to say there is God. So when I'm talking about demonstration of his power, he's demonstrating his power on a daily basis. He de he's demonstrating his power every time that no power can withstand. Don't forget, God, the book of Bible says in the book of Psalm 62, Psalm 62, verse 11, the Bible says power belongs to God. He said, once he has spoken, twice I have heard that what? 
power belongs belong to, to God. You know, Psalm 62, verse 11. So power belongs to him. So when we are talking of manifestation of his power, we, have them mani we are saying that, oh, the power that belongs to him mm. is of God. The power in heaven, the power in earth, the power down in the earth is of God. All power. Yeah, all power. So there is no where any other power reside. Okay. Now, what does this power, this power that we talk about in other, in Psalm 62, verse 11, now he rules by this power. According to Psalm 66, verse 7. Okay, he said he rules forever with, by his power. So we are talking about the power. So God is the owner of power. In heaven, in everywhere. So power belongs to him. It doesn't matter. And every child of God must have this at the back of his mind that power belongs to him. You know, it pains me at times the day when you see believers and say, we are human. We are human beings. Ha, child of God. Our life beyond that. Our, our thinking must be beyond that. We must live beyond that we are human. We must live beyond we are ordinary. Why? Because he that has power in heaven and earth lives inside of us. He dwells in us. He that controls heaven and earth lives in us. So we are more than ordinary. We are more than just normal human beings. We are not normal human beings, but the power that resides in us. So we can do great and mighty things through the power that, that resides in us. Exactly. Through Jesus Christ who lives that in us. That is why Paul said, I can do all things yes, through what? Through Christ yes, that strengthens me. me. Why did Paul say that? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24, the Bible says Christ is the power and the wisdom of God. God. Now, if Christ, that is the power and the wisdom of God, is in me, I have the power that is of God. It means I'm not dull. I'm hey, not stupid. All. No, 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 no. I have wisdom. I, I, I know all things. Everything. Wow, Why? Yeah. Because the, the power and the wisdom of God is Christ. He said, Christ is the power and the wisdom of God. And I say, I give my life to that Jesus, who is the power and the wisdom of God. Therefore, I have that power inside of me. Now, one thing we have to understand also as we go in this teaching is this. We are talking of power. There is a source of this power, which is the spirit of God. When it comes to us. And that is why when you go to Micah chapter 3, verse 8. Micah chapter 3, verse 8. He said, truly, I'm full of power by the Spirit of God. Micah, you want to read? Yes, I'm trying to get that. Yeah. Micah chapter 3, verse 8. Okay. Micah 3, 8. <coughs> Not the first part. Micah chapter 3, three, three verse, eight. verse 8. But truly I am full of Power do, do, by the Spirit is, of the Lord. Is that in your Bible? That's what I just read now. Micah <laughs> chapter 3 verse 8. You know, he said, but well, truly, I am I'm full, full of, of power. By what? By the Spirit, by the of, spirit the Lord, of the Lord. And judgment. And that is why he can, do judge, he, can, he can judge, he can decide what to do. So the Bible says, truly, I'm full of power. By what? By the Spirit of the Lord. So by the Spirit of the Lord that dwells in me, I'm full of power. Hallelujah. And that is why every child of God, having given your life to Jesus, you must seek for the dwelling of the Spirit of God. And that is where baptizing the Holy Ghost is needed, is important. Don't forget, we started with Christ is the power of God, which resides in us. But what made it manifest is the dwelling of the Spirit in us. Don't forget, the same Jesus, who is the power and the wisdom of God, could not do anything until the Spirit came upon him. Right, sir. Is that okay? Yes, now, sir. because according to Luke chapter 4, verse 14, Luke chapter 4, verse 14, but also, you, you know, he, you know he, he, by the power of the Spirit, Jesus Christ also began by the power of the Spirit. And when you get to verse 18, he said, He has anointed me. Okay? So when we are talking of the power, we are talking of the Spirit of God. If the Spirit of Him that raised Christ from the dead dwells in me, us, yes. Romans chapter 8, verse 11, He mm. will quicken my mortal body. Mm. Listen, brethren. So we have the quickening of the mortal body. And that is why I said, standing on, we are not normal human beings. We are not ordinary human beings. We are full of power. We are full of grace. So when we are talking of manifesting of the power of God, we are saying, talking of manifesting of the Spirit of, of God. God that dwells in, in us. us. And that is why the Bible says, I think if I remember quickly, in Roman, you know, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, he said that he's able to do exceeding abundantly more than what we ask or think through by the power that dwells in us. Listen, brethren, there is this power that dwells in us. And because this power dwells in us, so it can do all things through us. Listen, God is not going to come from heaven and do any miracle again. He's going to use you. He's going to use me to do whatever he wants to do here on earth. And that was why when he was creating us, he created us and put us here on earth. Don't forget, you 
I, I, I got it right not quite long. The Bible says, come, let's create man in our own image. There is this word, own image, our personal image. God did not just create us as image. He created us as his own personal self-image. Now, so if he created us his, in his own personal image and likeness, that means everything that is of God is in us. Everything that everything is of God, that how is of he God, is, how he looks just the way we are. Is in how us. he thinks, Everything how he stands. Everything that is of God is in us. Hallelujah. And this is the knowledge that every believer must come into. And that was why when Paul, Paul yes, Ali, was speaking in Ephesians chapter 1, now from verse 18, he said, the same this God who has made Jesus, he has wrought the same power in us. And that was why when you get to verse 20, 21, he was thinking, he has given this Jesus power over principalities, over power, over everything on it and not on it yet. Now listen to me, sister, and everybody. Is this, this Jesus that dwells in us? So when we are talking of the power of God, we are talking of the power that can do all things. We are talking of the power that can break the breakable. We are talking of the power that turns things around. We are talking of the power that makes things happen. And that was why Jesus, listen, when Jesus was going, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, Matthew 28, verse 18. When she was going, he said, Wow, all power in heaven and the earth has been given unto me. He now said, Go now and begin to preach the gospel. And that was why Jesus, when he was speaking John chapter 14, verse 12, when he said, The work we did, we will do. He now put another additional. He said that not only that you do what I did, but greater work than this, you will do. Greater Why? Work. Because by that time we begin to manifest, he has gone to die, he has resurrected, the power in heaven and the earth has been given unto him. So we will be able to do greater works by the resurrection power Hallelujah. of Jesus Christ. Not by own power, not that we are doing greater work than him by our power. No, by the resurrection power. Why? Because by the time he died, by the time he resurrected, he came with power. He collected power from the devil. Power has no, Satan has no power again. Nothing was left to Satan. And that is why every believer must know that the least enemy, I do say it, the least enemy to fight is Satan. The highest enemy to fight is ourselves. Wow. The least enemy to fight is Satan. is Satan. But some of us dread that name. Because we lack knowledge. And that's why some of us perish. For the lack of knowledge. Because, you see, until we get to understand what Jesus has made happen in our life, until we get to understand what God is in our life, if we get be shivering and running away from Satan, our the major problem we have is ourselves. Why? Well, because we lack the knowledge of who, who we are, are in Christ Jesus. We lack the knowledge of who God is. And we compare ourselves to these people or the things of this world. And that's why we are limited. Maybe let me even add. We lack the knowledge of who we are. Yes. We lack the knowledge of who God is. Yes. And maybe we lack the knowledge of what God expects us to do. Don't how do. he was, expects us to manifest. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at when we now have understanding that, yes, I have Christ in me. The Spirit of God dwells in me. I am just the way he is. What are the, how do I manifest the power of God? What are the things expected of me to do? Are they just miracles? That <laughs> keeps, keeps coming to mind. <laughs> wow. When we, you know, that I said, don't forget, the, when God created heaven and earth, there's no, there was no need for miracle. Hmm. Adam did, need, needed no miracle. Everything, because why? Everything God created was perfect. Man had everything. There was no lack for man. There, you know, everything. Everything was complete. Everything was perfected. Man needed no miracle. Why? Because he was dwelling in the garden that God provided. He was dwelling everywhere God has made him. But it was sin that drove man out of the garden, that made man be in need now, okay? Everything that man needed was given to him in the garden. But when sin came, okay, man became to have, begin to have need. And that is why the need for miracle now, oh, I need this, I need to pray for a wife, I need to pray for this. But where am, where am I going? God expects us to manifest his power in every aspect of our life. Now, let's start from the spiritual. Now, according to what Paul said in Galatians chapter 2, I love that scripture very well, verse 20. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. If you can see, we can read Galatians 2, 20. Okay. You know, sometimes when you are now looking for that scripture, Galatians 2, 20 right? says that, you know, mm. Now, that it is not only me, it's not me that is walking now, that is manifesting now, mm. but it's the spirit of God that dwells in me. me. 
Okay? So because the Spirit of God dwells Can I just quickly take it? Oh, okay, Galatians now. 2 verse 20. 20. Yes. I am crucified with Christ. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. I live. I live. Yet not I. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. By what? And the life which I now live okay. in, in the flesh, okay. I live by the faith and the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. By the faith of Christ, who, the Son of God, who loves and dwells in me. So it is not we that are operating. It is Christ in us that is operating. Why? Because we have been crucified with him. Now, what does that have to do with my life? Apart from victory of our sin, victory of our flesh, that I've gained in Christ Jesus, and we expected to do the same thing everywhere. Now, I will go back to Genesis. The man that God created, God expects us to manifest intellectual capacity. God wants us to, you know, Christianity is more than I can raise the dead. Christianity is more than I can heal the sick. God wants us to do that, and we are doing it by the grace of God, and we continue to do that. Amen. But I'm saying that God wants us to go beyond that level. I must you know, not get to the level of intellectual capacity, and now because I'm a Christian, I become dummy. No. God is not expecting me to do that. And that was why the first man he created, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 20, God brought everything, created yeah. to him. He began to name them one by one without any mistake. And the name he called them was the name they began to bear. And God did not have reason to change that. Why? Because man was living a perfect wisdom, understanding of God. Okay? So, we have to manifest the power of God in wisdom. We have to manifest the power of God in the capacity of the intellect he has given to us. Don't because you are a child of God, you now become somebody who is pushing aside. No. Oh, that, no, no, no. They are Christian. They can't do anything. No. Not this generation. Not this generation. The Christian of this generation, we must wake up and we are waking up to our responsibility that intellectually something good is there for us. Now, and that is why in the book of Daniel chapter 2, we saw that Daniel manifested this. How many, how many dead did Daniel raise? Yeah, but he's one of the great men of God in the scripture. Why? Because he manifested the power of God in wisdom, intellectually. He reigned with almost four or five King, king, kings, and he manifested the power of God. They were looking for him. Listen, brethren, this should be my life. This should be your life. That when it comes to things of wisdom, they'll be looking for us. Why? We carry solution. Hallelujah. Why? Because we have the way out. Why? Because we know how it will happen. And that was why the king of Egypt, Pharaoh, has no choice than to make Joseph the prime minister because he has something here. And don't forget, what the Spirit, I mean, Joseph said, Joseph said, it is not of me to give interpretation, it's of the Lord. Mm. So, we are talking about the power of God, we are talking about God in wisdom, mm. power of God in manifesting intellectual capacity, in telling the world that no, something good can come from us. Mm. Okay, something good can come from a Nazareth. Why? Because mm. we have been anointed to manifest that, and that was why in the book of Exodus, chapter 31, Exodus, chapter 31, from verse 1 to 3, God was speaking to Moses when Moses needed to. Do something to the temple, and he could not be by himself because every one of us has his own place. And that was a good. Don't don't worry. I've anointed somebody. I've put something, the spirit of wisdom, in a man called Bezali and Ahoila. Okay, they will be able to do everything. So the power of God to manifest intellectual also is needed for every child of God. And that was why Bezali and Ahoila were able to do all they did in the temple. Why? Well, because they manifest the wisdom of God. So the power of God must be manifested in, you know, in intellectually. That's number two. Number three, the power of God must be manifested financially. Okay. Why? Because Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 says, He gave us power to get Make wealth. Mm. He gave us power. He said, we should remember him why? Because he's the one that gave us power to get wealth. So the power of God is not only to heal the sick, it's not only to raise the dead, mm. it's to manifest in every other aspect of life. And that is why we are seeing our fathers in the Lord, they are not only raising dead. Mm. The world is looking at what they are doing and saying, wow, what, look at this place, come we are now. Camp. Redemption come. Mm. People are still looking at this, what is happening, how are they making it? Why? That is the wisdom of God. Oh. And I can tell you, my sister, our God has made, our Father is one of the people that has the wisdom of God in this generation. Hallelujah. Men of God are coming to him with the wisdom that God has given to him. Mm. So it's not only I can raise the dead, it's mm. not only that I can, I can heal the sick, mm. I must manifest the wisdom of God. When it comes to finance also, I must manifest the wisdom of God in making wealth. 
So when we're talking about manifestation of his power, this is having an excellent spirit in you, in exhibiting excellence in, in all everything. that you do. It that is one way to manifest his power in us, as work in us. Exactly. So when we understand this and we begin to run towards this, Christianity of this generation will, will, will change. Mm. And I say something, this generation, my generation, we should go beyond the level of altar or pulpit pastor. Mm. This generation will move to the level of building pastor men of God in the offices. We should stop, we should not only build people on the pulpit. We should begin to see people that will come and give testimony. Oh, I have a testimony. What is your testimony? In my place of work yesterday, they were, they were troubling about doing something. They could not do it. This people of God just told me how to do it, and I went there and I did it, and something happened. And through there, I'm promoted now. And that Not that you are lobbying to be promoted. No, mm -hmm. you don't need to love to be to love to, 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 to be lobbied to promote it. You must be promoted based on what God is doing you and through you. You know, Pastor Sir, what just this has um, this been on my mind just when we I received this topic that we'll be looking at manifestation of his power. I was like, I don't know if this is right to say, but it seemed to me like the manifestation of the power of God was kind of like more prevalent, more powerful, more, you know, um, more known, you know, in the olden days, in the olden testament or olden Bible days. For instance, we keep seeing the Lord, the God of Elijah, the consuming fire God. We say the God of Abraham, the God of Moses. We know, we know what happened in the Bible when Moses is rod and Pharaoh's rod. We know, um, we, we see that um, people couldn't lie to their pastors. <laughs> but they could lie to their pastors now without the pastor detecting the L in the lie. You know, we know the story of Ananias and Sapphira. They lied. And instantly the power of God struck. So does it seem now like the, the power of God was highly manifest, manifested highly then than it is now? Well, I will answer from our, I think, is it logo or what I call it, of Redeem? All right, sir. Math, I mean, Hebrew 13. Eight. Yes, sir. God is saying yesterday, today, today, today and forever. And forever. <laughs> what does that mean? This okay. God does not change. Okay, sir. We are the one that change. Oh. His okay. power remains the same. Mm. You know, I think that just that, that songwriter, his power remains the same. Okay. Yes, it never, never, fails. Yes, it never, changed. never changed. It never changed. So it never changed. But we are the one. How we are the witching? Do we have time for God? Do we, our fathers of old, have time for God? Are we dedicated the way they dedicated in the olden days? Mm. You know, do we give ourselves to God the way they give themselves to God? Okay, how many times do we spend in presence of God? Okay, because um, Psalm 84, verse 7, he said, as they appeared before in Psalm 84, verse 7, he said, God begin, he renewed their strength. They are being renewed from, from, they move from strength to strength as they appear before him. How many of, the, how many of us appearing before God the way we're supposed to appear before God today? God remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I have something I always tell myself. My God is progressive. Hmm. My God is progressive. Yes, I know one day, as we keep trusting God, as we keep fellowshipping with God, God will manifest his power in us, in this generation. Now, so, and also, we know that the day of our fathers, like um, Abraham, uh, Elijah, mm. this and that, and even before that, even come to this generation, mm. there was a time of oh, the day of uh, Wigglesworth, the day of Horror Robot, Kenneth Hagin, you know, all these assertions. Now, we are in the day of our, you know, our father, mm. Adeboye, Huyedepo, and many others. Okay? Now, God is working in them, but I want to conclude that aspect by saying this. When uh, Elijah, after he has done what he did, you know, in chapter 18, you know, I said, wow, I'm the only one that did everything. Nobody remained. God said, no, don't mm, do that. I still have, I still have <laughs> some. So I believe God still has some people. 70, He's working more. upon mm. that will be better than that. That will be better than that. And that is God. Because that Adebu is in Anuidepo. They have gone beyond, uh, what is it called? Uh, Father um, Ibai Idaosa. Mm. You know, there was a time it was Benson Daosa, Benson Daosa, and now God has come to the level to the another. So it's ceasing. So we are in the period of our fathers now, mm. and God is using them. We are tapping from them. So that is why Daddy always pray and he wants his children to be better than him. If you are not better than him, that means you are a failure. All right, we'd like to take a quick break at this time. If there's something I'm holding on that we are still in the days of his power. Yes. And one of the ways to access, one of the ways to manifest this is dwelling in, in his secret place, place, just like Psalm 91 said. But in his secret place, he reveals wisdom. He reveals secret Everything. things to us and all that we need. All right, everyone.
let's just hold on to these words we have just heard and you know digest it for a while we'll go on a quick break when we come back we hope to find you there please get your cell phone handy so you can ask questions or contribute to this topic or if there's any other thing bothering your mind like there's something out of this topic that i would like to ask a pastor please join us when we are back from this break god bless you For somebody, the sun will surely rise. Are you looking to refresh in your spirit with the timeless message and evergreen Bible teachings of Daddy Gio? Then, join us on Dove Television as we will be reaching back to years beyond to bring you those loaded sermon of Pastor E. A. Adebuye from the Seasons of Life. Redemption Treasures, showing every Wednesdays and Fridays at 2 a.m., 5 a.m., 11 a.m., 4 p.m., and 9 p.m. Stay tuned. You will be glad you did. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us and staying till um, for the second part of our discussion on springs of life. And today, we are looking at the topic, manifest, manifestation of his power. Manifestation of his power. And I have learned so much that God is interested in manifesting his power. He wants to show forth his glory. And he has put that in us, that we, through us, the world can see the glory of God, the greatness of God through us. All we need to do is make ourselves available and align to the will of the Father and he will help us in Jesus' name. So at this time, our phone line will soon be displayed on your TV screen. So please feel free to call in, ask your question as regards this topic, manifestation of his power, or contribute because it's live Bible study on television. So we'd like to also hear from you or from, we just want to study together. All of this is put together so that we can understand the mind of God and help us all build and live a better Christian life as we grow every day in him. And also if you have any other thing bothering your mind, please feel free to ask through the help of the Holy Spirit. Our pastor will also answer your question. God bless you so much for staying with us. We still have in the studio. Pastor Isaac Adewumi, he's from RCCG Winners Chapel in Lagos Province 13. Thank you so much once again, sir, for Thank staying you, with us, sir. Bless you. Amen. So, um, let's, as we continue the discussion right now, manifestation of yes. his power, you said that before we left, I said, this is to show that we are still in the time, we are in the his season power. of the manifestation of yeah. his power. God his wants power. to show the world a lot of things through us. Please tell us more about that, sir. But the Bible says that in the day of his power, people shall be willing. Mm. Okay? Now, and uh, <clears throat> we are in the day of his power. And I want to talk from my personal something now. And that is why seeking God because become the most important thing for us. Seeking God seeking should God be the most should important be the thing. the most important thing. Why? Because there is nothing we can have in this world without God. Mm. And, um, you know, the challenge of this world is deceiving us to think that how we can get it to be far from God. Mm. Because what is happening in this generation, what is happening right now, is making many of us to think that there's no help in God. Mm. 
But I want to tell everyone listening to this morning that the only way we can get way out is by coming closer to God, who can load us with his power, who will fill up with his spirit. For every child of God, you know, that's it. That's something that when you are saying, people will think that, oh, is it, is it right? There's no, there's no place for sickness in the body of any child of God. But some Christians still fall sick, sir. That is personal. You can't, you can't live beyond. That's one of the, one of the, one of the way of manifesting this power is by knowledge and by revelation. You can't live beyond what you know. Mm. All right, sir. Please, sir, let me just quickly take our very first call. Okay. And we have Isha Oluwa who has joined us from Lagos. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us now. Hello, you're live. Please go ahead and talk to us now in the studios. Hello. Hello, sir. Could you please speak up so we can hear you? Good morning. Good. Could you speak up? Are you still there? Please speak up so we can hear you. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Morning to you, sir. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Go ahead, sir. We can hear you now. Please go ahead. Hello. Good morning. Please go ahead, sir. If you can hear me, please go ahead. I can hear you, sir. Yes. Good morning, Miss Sholo. I call you from Lagos. All right, go ahead, sir. Please go ahead. You have a question or contribution. Uh, oh. All right, I apologize. Um, I just have to um, end your call. Please call us back. And when you do call back and you're transferred to us right here in the studio, please pick up and ask your question or contribution, and we'll be glad to have your comments or view on what we are discussing. God bless you. All right, sir. Now, so I said, you know, we, God wants us to live above. God, when he's manifesting his power in us, he's manifesting his power to heal. Mm. He's manifesting to destroy. They don't forget, you know, I think um, when, when um, Isaiah was saying in chapter 53, mm. he was saying by his stripe, we are, we healed. are healed. But when Peter was referring to him, he said mm. by his power, we were. Hallelujah. Okay. Mm. We were Mm. So it is what God has done through Christ. Mm. Okay, and that is why you see, Christianity is more than I can go to church. Christianity is more than my name is Isaac. Mm. Christianity is what you know is revelation of Christ in you. What you know? Exactly. Who is He? You will see. You is revelation of Christ in you. Christianity is ability of Christ in you. Christianity is demonstration of the power of Christ to the world. So, because, you know, many of us, we are lazy in studying the world. We are lazy in praying. We are lazy in doing anything. Now, there's something I wrote down. Now, the, we, we, could, we see that, the, I said it, that the power of God was able to move in the mantle of Elijah through Elisha. Mm. But what happened? That the power of God could not move through the staff of Elisha in the hand of Gears. Why? Because Gears was seen to be following, you know, Elisha. But he has another, another mind. Another agenda. Exactly. He has another agenda. His agenda is, oh, it's like they always give good offering to the pastor. How do I, I, you know, how do I also give more offering? Mm. Many people are in the ministry because of what they want to have. Many people are in the church because of sharing what they want to have. Mm. That is not God. That is not God. That is not God. It is in knowing God who can make you rich. One man of God says something when you know, his father in the Lord gave him something and says, take. He said, no, don't give me. I'm not taking. Mm. What I want to do, I want to receive grace mm. so that I do or can know how it happens. Not that, okay, take. And that's why the Bible says, bless that, you know, the one that is, is giving is mm. blessed than the one well, that is receiving. receiving. You know, Pastor, this is like also talking to some of us, um, the congregation, okay. brethren. Like, some of us go to church because of what we want God to do for us, because yes. of our requests. We keep going to church. Mm -hmm. But rather, God wants us to come to church because we want to have fellowship <laughs> with him. The relationship with Relation him, yes. working with him. And that is what we are not doing again. You know, you know, you know, I think uh, the act was talking about uh, maybe chapter 13 or 15. Should be. Mm. You know, I'm talking about the church of Berea. I think it's yeah, chapter 17, the church of Berea. <clears throat> you know, the church of Berea, why the church that we go back home and go and study what their pastor taught them. Mm. But today, even some people don't have, do not even have note. Even some people, have, as they wrote, they just dump when they go to, they don't check it. I always tell people, you can't get anything. What you learn from the church, when you get to sit down with it, mm. study it, it is then it can become part of you. Okay? okay? So, this is what many of us is not doing. So, now, I was talking about... Can we just take a call right now and okay. continue? Okay. All right. So, we have B, who has joined us from Ikorudu. Hello, B. Thank you so much for calling in. 
Hello. Hello. All right, sir, you are now live on TV. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah, good morning. Morning to you, sir. Please go ahead. I can good. hear you in the studio now. Good morning. I can. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to your program. All right, sir. And I can hear you. Good morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are welcome, Pastor sir. Pastor Isaac can hear you. Please go ahead, sir. Pastor Isaac is busy. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Pastor Isaac, this is me. I, I want to have a second for your life. We thank God. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's been a while. We were ah. together. Hello? Hello, I'm hearing you. Yeah, I want to thank God for the grace of God. I'm enjoying what you are saying. We give God praise. Hello, can you hear me? I'm okay. hearing you. We got that, Mr. B. Okay, do you have a question yeah, or contribution? Do you have a yeah, question? Uh, it, it, it's been a while. I, 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 well, to get up, my good old yeah. Ah. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you so much, uh, Bi, for calling in from Ikorodu. Thank you so much, sir. And um, the line is still open. You can join us by calling or texting to the, um, to the um, message number on your TV screen, the SMS number on your TV screen, and ask your question, contribute, or anything we'll, uh, we'll be glad to hear from you you know pastor when you said that some of us you know sometimes actually go to church not because of what we want to not because we want to have want to know god in fact there's this um uh, there's this fellowship group this women fellowship group that, you know, that i'm in and the woman was like some of you actually join this fellowship group because okay you want god to do this you want mm -hmm. god to do that but as you join some of you discover that you began to know god even more and you're like, I think I enjoy knowing God more because in knowing Him, you know His will for mm -hmm. that you're mm -hmm. even asking mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. You know, even the one of the, the challenge we have in this generation is this: mm. <laughs> many come to church because the church is going to give them one material thing, mm. one other thing. They will give us this today. People are not coming. You see, and it's a challenge. People are not coming to church because they are seeking God, but people are coming to church because of what they think that physical thing that the church can give to them. But I want everybody to know this. Mm. Go to church so that God can make you to become one of the people that will be giving that material things. All right, sir. Let's take this call God is from... a service to God. All right, sir. Let's take this call now from Ike Chuku. Ike Chuku has joined us from River State. Um, hello, Ike Chuku. Thank you so much for calling in. Hello, good morning. Good Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I have a contribution to make. All right, you can go ahead with your contribution. Uh, first of all, I want to appreciate the grace of God at work in the life of his servant. You the present as well. I want to make a contribution. In the book of First Corinthians chapter twelve verse seven, the Bible said, Now to each one of us the manifestation of that spirit is given for the common good. Uh, really, every gift that the Lord gives to people is meant to be manifested. Okay. But I've come to realize, based on my own personal experience, that though it is to be manifested, mm. the secret behind this power is the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And we don't just command him any time we wish, anyhow we wish. There are times we are into, we feel humanly, let this power flow, let this power flow. Mm. And we find out that even in our own utmost desire for the power to flow, mm. I want to say that the reason behind that is that the Holy Spirit is the main author. And we put ourselves to Him. Okay. Under God, under Jesus. Can you hear what He's saying, sir? Then, okay. And our will becomes His will. Yes. Our desire becomes the desire. desire. Yeah. And that which we want to be made manifest. Thank you so people much. People love the power. But they don't like the... People love they to manifest. The but they they don't like they they want to go through the process. <laughs> the process. Yes. All right. Thank yes. you so much. Okay, you don't want to go through the process. All right. Let's see. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You know, the process sometimes, like he said, could be wait. Mm -hmm. There are times you want to, you just want to show up the, the power of God. Let me even ask this, sir. At what time or when 
can we ask God to manifest his power? You know, there's this song. I'm not sure I can sing it. It's a Yoruba song that says, ba, 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 ra, mm, okay. You know the song, right? Yes, you know, I said that. So the whole world we know. Right. Let me not sing it so that people don't know my, 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 my deficiency in Yoruba language. So, you know, it says that God show your power, right? Okay. So the whole world we know that you are the only king, the one who has all the power. At what time, when do we ask God to show forth? There's no any particular time you ask God to show forth his power. Okay. But what I have to do, what you have to do is to consistently be at the feet of Christ. Okay. For example, uh, what is his name? Moses in Exodus chapter 3. He wasn't making any requests, wasn't making, but he kept on doing what he was doing, doing his will of God, and mm. God suddenly came on him. Mm. Okay? And likewise, God, when Jesus was going, he told the disciples, say, be at the upper room. Mm. Okay? As they were there, they were waiting. We should keep on just relating and waiting on God. As you keep on waiting, you know, I think that you gave us the definition of that waiting, mm. just like a waiter. Mm. Just wait. Yes. Keep waiting. Yes. When he needs you, he calls you. Mm. So when you want to manifest he bring, he, may, he, he bring it towards you mm. and it manifests. So we don't tell God, manifest now, 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 okay. now, now. No, you remain with God, fellowship with him, okay. wait on him, and it will manifest. At or his rather own. keep saying, Lord, I'm available for your use. Yes. If anytime, anytime you want to manifest your power, manifest. I'm available. All right, let's take this call from Kemi. Kemi has joined us from Lagos. Hello, Kemi. Thank you so much for calling in. Good morning. Morning to you, sis. Could you please speak up so we can hear you? My name is Kemi from Lagos. Okay. Please go ahead. Good, good morning. We can hear you. Good please go ahead. <laughs> My name is Kemi from Lagos. Okay. So I just want to ask the question that how can you know that God is manifesting? in your life. How can you know that God is manifesting in your life? Okay. Rather, okay. How can you know God is manifesting his power in your life? In your life, yes. <laughs> okay. It's possible Kemi just joined us. <laughs> or right, so just in case, how can she know that God is manifesting his power in her life? What? Um, number one, you have to understand. You will know that God is manifesting his power in you. Number one, you must know his, his spirit is in, in, in you. Okay, the indwelling of the Spirit of God in you. And again, from your experience, has God been doing something special in your life? Or your life just remained the same? Okay? And um, what is your condition of relation with God? With this, we know whether God is manifesting in our life or not. In most of the challenges, difficulties you go through or you are going through, has God shown himself mighty? Okay? So, uh, those are the signs and some other area we can know that God is manifesting his power in your life. All right, sir. Somebody wrote, Daniel um, Olatunbo soon wrote from Ogun State saying, Why are some Christians filled with the power of the Holy Ghost okay. but still in bondage? But still remain in bondage. Yeah, the, the, the challenge is, is knowledge. No. It's knowledge. There's no other thing than age. You know, we have many people who are loaded with power. Mm. But you know, the question, the, the, the person that you're asking, mm. but they don't know that they are full of the power. Mm. You know, many of us, we pray, God, feed me this and that. Still, we still mm. behave as if nothing has happened. Mm. It's, not, it's quite bad. Many of us, we don't know that God is, that is dwelling in us is a living God. Mm. It's, it's alive. So many f are full of the power, full of Holy Ghost, but they still manifest. I think uh, the scripture says that, I uh, said we die like mere male, something like that. I've forgotten the chapter now. Mm. So, so many of us, we, we, we don't understand. Yeah, I think when, okay, yes, Ali, when Jesus was talking to, his, to, pe to, the, to the Jew, mm. he said, have you forgotten? The Bible said, for ye are gods. Mm. For ye are gods. I think that means John chapter 7, first study, something, I think mm. so. They say, for ye are gods. Mm. But they don't know. So all we need to manifest the power of God in are wrapped up in the Bible. No, knowledge. When, you, when we go for this knowledge, we acquire this knowledge, then that can help us. We manifest it. All right, sir. Um, I need to take this call now. And we have Fola Shade, who has joined us from River State. I apologize for keeping you waiting for that long. Please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Please, you are live now. Please go ahead. Okay. Good morning. Thank Good you so much, Ma. Thank you. I, I heard you, uh, you were 
and tribulation. Okay. Today, even we that we call ourselves children of God, okay. many of us, we are just, uh, uh, there are some that we call modern Christians. Okay. Unlike uh, I mean, Christians of before. For example, now, someone we call ourselves a Christian, and it is only things uh, uh, one thing that all right, one thing that okay, that they, they see themselves as uh, children of God. Okay. For example, now you have somebody to go uh, into a place to go and uh, uh, and preach, to go and give them the word of God, to go and win souls. Evangelize. Then you will know some that are real children of God. And all these people yeah. they are in, in church, mm. but yes, they are not doing the will of God. Okay. For example, now when they have that to go, they will be instead of uh, to work for God, I mean to make something they use it, mm. to prepare for for that such a work, they will start complaining, giving spirit of uh, excuses. I think of some it is then they will have get the work mm. that God has given them to be excused. I mean so that they will not be able to go. Okay. Many things like that. Some people, they are not there to even spend, to spend their money for God, the money God has given them. So many of these things is happening today. It's only, it's only God that will help us. Amen. Yeah. It's only God that knows who is serving Him, even among we that we call ourselves children of God today. Mm. The way the disciples, the way they did in those days, Okay. We are not doing it. All right. Thank we you so much, Paula Shade, for that. That only God knows those that are truly His. That's what yes, the Bible yeah. tells us. Okay. So, is there a danger if you don't manifest the power of God? Is there? Is you know? Do we have anything to lose? Maybe if we know that there is some sort of danger or something to lose, that might quicken us. That might help us. You know, to want to begin to align ourselves to manifest the power of God and do His will. If we are not manifesting the power of God, <clears throat> we are doing ourselves. Okay. We are not doing God. And um, many of the things we lose, we, uh, if we are not manifesting the power of God, we mm. live as a mere man. Okay. We, we suffer what the world suffer. That's one. Another thing is that we, lie, we, we lose our reward because it's mani manifesting his power, manifesting his glory that we serve God, okay, that we work the work of God and that we do one or two for, two, three for, the, for God. So when we don't manifest his power, number one, we suffer the way the world suffer. Number two, we lose our reward. Okay. We lose our reward of serving because our work and manifestation of the power is true, is through serving him. Mm. True man, you know, just as like the caller just said, okay, preaching God the gospel, like for example, now one of the ways we, we get this power is by going out. Re Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Mm. He said, the gospel is the power of God for salvation. Okay? So when we engage in preaching the gospel when we engage in speaking the word of god telling others mm. we are being killed with the power of god mm. the power of god naturally come on us because it is from there you have practical somebody be preaching somebody somebody is sick or something happened you pray and god did something mm. wow mm. just at that woman said, ah, just god is inside of me mm. that will help you to do more exactly sir do you guys think? but many of us we sit at home we are not doing anything we are not showing forth mm. The knowledge you have that you are not practicalizing or making use of, we just remain we don't know that. You know, someone says that when you acquire knowledge and you don't put it into practice, it's, it's a mere data. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Let's just take this call from Anida, who has joined us from Adamawa State. Hello, Anida. Thank you so much for calling in. Yes. Um, my name is rather Aniedi, not Anida. Okay, Aniedi. All right, sir. Yes. Apologize for that. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. I've, okay. I've been listening, I mean, watching your program. Uh, uh, good morning, please, uh, the invited guest. Good morning, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Um, you said something concerning, can I just use my language here, look what met in church. Mm. Uh, that uh, you met patient of a particular church in the Bible, we, after hearing mm. the time, so they go back. That's a very Yeah. The scripture. Mm. At home. What is actually wrong in our churches now that things, going on what is actually wrong because uh you observe in our churches now people don't i mean rather we don't need uh, the messages that will capture you know, that will capture our hearts anymore that will make people reflect on our i mean on her on their past 
or rather in your present behavior, mm. you hardly hear messages of repentance. You hardly hear messages that will touch someone's heart and make someone weak. I mean, uh, those days when you hear a particular message, you hear you see people falling down, I'm crying, you, repenting you. from their sins. Mm. Rather, what we hear is prosperity, prophecy, and uh, even the pastor himself, when he clumps the podium, you hardly see him whole Bible. Rather, he probably holds a tablet <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Churches have discouraged people holding Bible or holding books to write. Okay. I mean, it's great for church. I mean, churches. And then things like that have probably discouraged people from concentrating or meditating or rather going back home to study what probably they heard from church. So mm. what can we do? What's the way forward so that we go back to the ancient last ma landmark? Thank you. What can we do? Thank, Thank you. you so much. That's a vital point. You know, what can we do? How can we bring back? the power of God in the church and in our lives as Christians. How can, what can the pastors do? How can the pastors get help? Everyone Not needs help at this pastor, time. Everybody, everybody needs help right now. now. What can we do generally? Yes. What we can do is so simple. Right, we should sir. go back to our first love. We should go back to our first love. God already said, many of us today, we, we've left the first love. And I keep saying something. In those days, in those days, people are called pastor by their character, not by title. Even the Christians, the first Christians were actually called the Christians Christian because they were, were Christ-like. called Christians because they lived the life of Christ. Mm -hmm. But today everybody is running after material things. Everybody wants to ride the best car, the best deeds. We are not seeking God first. But the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So we have to go back to seeking God and not mm -hmm. looking at anybody as a sample. We should look only unto God, the author and the finisher of our faith, as our sample. Mm. And listening to what Paul also said in chapter 11 of 1 Corinthians, mm. he said they should imitate him as he imit imitate Christ. God. So if anybody is not imitating Christ, don't imitate that person. Mm. Don't imitate anybody who is, not, who is not imitating Christ. So we can't imitate he, no matter either Joe either said who, if he's not imitating Christ, why are you imitating him? So we should seek first the kingdom of God as number one. Number two, we should imitate Christ. And you should imitate people that have Christ. Let's study the word of God. The people who have gone ahead of us. How did they do it? What is the way they do it? And we are trying to do that. We have the best way of doing it. Amen. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So all we need to do is get close to our Bible. Very important. And the Lord will help us as we study in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, wow. sir. Wow, the time is <laughs> up on the program. I had an awesome time in God God God. Um, discussing this topic. Thank you so much for availing yourself, sir. Could you please lead us in short words of prayer? Heavenly sir? Father, we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you because Jesus is the source of power. And thank you for touching every life that has not received you before. Father, we say thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray that the Spirit of God will dwell in us and will begin to manifest your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Give us the heart of God. Give us the mind of God. Give us that heart of righteousness so that you can live in us and demonstrate yourself in this wicked world through us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank Father, you, bless Lord. Duke Television. Amen. Bless every staff. Bless everyone. And let your blessing be upon us together in the name of Jesus, Amen. that it will bless your name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, sir, once again. And thank, thank you, everyone, God. for watching. Pastor Isaac Adewumi has been our pastor today. And our topic today has been manifestation of his power. God bless you for watching. We'll see you again next time on this station and program. I am Lillian Ogedebe. God bless you. Bye now.